Hey there everyone, it's Michael Dougal and during this video today I'm going to share with you 10 simple nootropic stacks that you can use in order for you to uh, not only improve your productivity but as well decrease anxieties. What a nootropic stack is, is it's two or more supplements that when used together provide specific cognitive enhancing benefits. And don't be intimidated by this video, it's not that advanced. As a matter of fact, most uh, stacks are just two or three supplements. Whether you're um, an advanced student of nootropics or you're somebody that's fairly new to nootropics, I think you'll find this information very valuable and if you're new to the channel then do consider subscribing I post videos weekly which will help to educate you on your nootropic journey and let's get right into the first nootropic stack here which is the one most people are quite familiar with which is caffeine and L-theanine so just two nootropics in this stack and what caffeine is good for is specifically for keeping you energized, making you more alert. It's known to help motivation to some extent, but along with that, research as well as anecdotes do often report that caffeine results in higher levels of anxiety, whether it's like social anxiety or just having like general concern, general worry. Um, also, what comes along with caffeine is mood instability and a caffeine crash. So the beauty of combining caffeine along with L-theanine is L-theanine is known to some extent like smoothen out the caffeine. So, so it's such that the caffeine is a little bit more subtle. It's not as uh, overstimulating and actually decreases anxiety levels to some extent. So when you take L-theanine right uh, by itself, it's known to reduce anxiety levels. It's known to keep you very calm, keep you present, kind of get you in that state of you feel like post meditation, uh, just very at bliss, very grateful. But the problem with taking L-theanine alone for most people is that it can be somewhat demotivating. So when you pair L-theanine, you uh, feel calm. Unfortunately, you're a bit demotivated, but then you have caffeine along with it to energize you, to pump you up, to get you motivated. So uh, specifically for people that want to improve their productivity, this is a great stack to use. However, if you're not looking to improve your productivity and you're looking for a nootropic stack really just to like help to relieve stress, then this is not the ideal stack for you because with caffeine, again, it can cause these horrible um, energy imbalances, this mood instability. So when it comes to stimulants specifically, you do have to be a little bit strategic about how you go about them. So for like salespeople like myself, I love caffeine. I especially love it with L-theanine because it really helps me when I'm making presentations or I'm uh, trying to like close a sale, for example. So let's move on to nootropic snack number two, which is paracetam along with choline. So paracetam is one of the uh, most known nootropics out there. As a matter of fact, it was one of the first nootropics that I tried um, uh, about a decade or so ago. And the problem with paracetam is like for about 80% of people, they need to take it along with a choline source. So my favorite form of choline is alpha GPC. And what's known when you take um, paracetam along with choline is well, within a couple of weeks, you should uh, definitely notice your memory being better and you should feel a lot more comfortably socially. Like it's really, really good for verbal fluency, especially for uh, making videos like this or presentations. When you have like paracetam fully saturated in your system, you just feel like socially sharp. You feel like you can recall things very easily and it has this like really neat benefit, especially for students. I had found that when um, I was in my college days and I was using paracetam, the moment that I stopped taking paracetam, it was like my grades suffered. And that was the moment that really hit me like, wow, paracetam is definitely something. So because of that, I love the stack of paracetam and choline. And it's not something I can see myself getting away from taking because um, it's been good to me. And after like years of consecutive use of taking paracetam and choline, I've not seen any negative effects with it whatsoever. Some people think I'm crazy for taking paracetam every single day, but um, I only feel like I'm functioning better and I'm healthy at the same time. So I love the paracetam and choline stack. And our next nootropic stack is citrulline malate and beta alanine, which you can argue isn't necessarily for the nootropic benefits, but specifically for weight training and working out. When you pair these two nootropics together, it will really uh, help your performance. You'll be able to push more weight. You will, to some extent, feel like a little bit more focused, which is something that I like about it a lot. Something to note, however, about these uh, two ingredients is that they're very often underdosed. So you should see citrulline malate and beta alanine in like the majority of pre-workout supplements out there. But if it's only like one gram each, it's not enough. I like a dosage of like six grams of citrulline malate along with at least three grams of beta alanine. Beta alanine is the uh, one ingredient that's known to kind of give you like the, that tingling sensation, those fireflies. So if you've tried a pre-workout and you felt awful, it's probably due to that one ingredient there. So you can consider getting a pre-workout which doesn't have the beta alanine. Uh, but as far as nootropic effects, I find that when I use citrulline malate and beta alanine during the course of the day, it also really helps to fight a sleep deprived state. So if I haven't gotten 
um, necessarily like a good night rest the day prior, then what so is this particular stack makes me feel like just as energetic, gives me the mental clarity and the mood boost that I need. Because uh, for me personally, when I don't sleep, it really hurts my mood. So uh, these two nootropics I'm pretty much using every day. Um, they're not only applicable when you're weight training, but for cardiovascular exercise as well. Like I run twice a week, I'm still using citrulline malate and beta alanine on those two particular days. However, uh, some people would disagree with me for that. And what's great is there's no like negative interactions I've found from taking citrulline malate and beta alanine along with the other nootropics that I take. Do note though that if you are going to supplement with citrulline malate, you may want to consider increasing your water intake. I'm somebody that definitely drinks like at least three liters of water per day, but I have found that on those days when I'm taking citrulline malate, uh, like every day, I need to make sure I get at least three liters of water during the course of the day, or more importantly, just consume some water every half an hour or so. And then you can get the citrulline malate benefits. Otherwise, you kind of just feel like a bit dehydrated during the course of the day. It's almost like creatine does. And the very next nootropic stack is rhodiola rosea plus bacopa mineri. And this has a really neat benefit in that it will help to eliminate midday work fatigue. So what rhodiola rosea and bacopa mineri are known to do is to help to reduce stress. They're adaptogenic herbs, meaning they are supplements that you take, not necessarily to become Superman or become like our favorite actor in that movie Limitless. But what they do very nicely is they will give you the effect of like having a nap. They will really give you like this sense of mental clarity. You'll become present all of a sudden. You will forget all of the bad occurrences that have happened during the like beginning half of the day. So it makes for a really great stack specifically to take in the afternoon. There are some people who like using Bacopa and Rhodiola Rosea first thing in the morning, but I figure um, there's really no point since it gives you the benefit of feeling like a nap. Why do I need my nap in the morning when I'm the most clear minded? The way that I'm using it is 300 milligrams of rhodiola rosea along with 300 milligrams of bacopa mineri. And I'm pretty much doing this every day. I've not really had any problems with it. Similar to paracetam, I've done this specific supplement stack pretty much daily for years and I've not experienced any bad side effects that come along with it. Moving on to our next a nootropic stack. And this is one which has really worked well with me specifically for making more money. And that's paracetam and aniracetam. And then of course you can add the choline as well. However, some people just uh, figure they can get their choline consumption through having egg yolks during the course of the day. So what you can expect from this specific nootropic stack is like all the benefits of paracetam that I mentioned earlier, as far as um, a better memory, having better word recall, especially during conversation, and generally just a better thinking, better planning skills. And with aniracetam, it really helps you specifically with social anxiety. So for those of you who are like myself, if you're in a sales job, you'll find that when you're consuming aniracetam and it's all up in your system, then what so is you can like effortlessly talk to clients. You'll find yourself being more conversational. You can definitely build like a better and deeper level of rapport, which is really important to be the person who asks the right questions to become a better listener. Like Anaras time, it's, it's a game changer in the sense like a, a nootropic pill can actually do that because there's very few nootropics that I can say have really helped my income and helped my sales, but Anaras time would certainly be one of them. And then when you use Anaras time along with Pras time, there's this nice synergy about it and you feel the aniracetam working a lot more effectively. As a matter of fact, I feel like all the racetams are like that. Like when you add them to paracetam, it just uh, works magically and you can definitely notice the benefits like oxyracetam and paramaracetam. Paramaracetam is one I really like specifically for discipline that I've talked about in this video over here. So that's paracetam and aniracetam. The next simple nootropic stack, we've got ashwagandha and we have bacopa mineri, which are both really good at fighting stress. So you may be wondering, okay, how does this uh, differ than taking rhodiola rosea and bacopa mineri? And it's really simple in the sense like, this is not the best um, nootropic stack specifically for work ethic, but if you're looking for something to really promote your mood, to really help you fight stress, like maybe you're going through a really tough time, um, who knows, maybe it's tax time or you're in trouble and you need something to help you be present and help you just be calm. This is a really great nootropic stack and you'll find like when you're taking it daily after about a week, you will just pretty much be happier all the time. It's like your baseline mood is really improved to the point like you're comfortable talking to people and you can really like compartmentalize your life and like say if there's something that's going wrong in your life and you just want to forget about it, this is a nootropic where you can focus on the other things and then deal with that problem as it's necessary on your schedule. So ashwagandha, the way in which I'm taking it is the KSM 66 extract, which is my favorite. I've talked about in this video over here. I'm taking 300 milligrams of 
ashwagandha KSM 66 along with Bacopa Mineri. And I don't use this stack all the time, but again, I use it when I really need to. Uh, let's say it's a time when I'm maybe not so focused on like in income producing activities, but income servicing activities. Maybe I'm working on a project and I just want to like de-stress. Then what's great about this nootropic stack is like you can use it for a few weeks and then discontinue the use of it. Um, for some people, they do notice this nice uh, acute effect when they take ashwagandha, like they can feel it straight away. But um, I'm not one of those individuals. Again, it just varies depending on the person. And our next nootropic stack we have is valerian root and lemon balm extract, which is maybe not the best thing for productivity, but this is like my go-to sleep supplement stack currently. Valerian root, what I like about it is, although it's subtle, it does definitely relax you to some extent. And with lemon balm extract, again, this is also very relaxing. You'll find that it doesn't really like knock you out like something stronger like melatonin would, but you'll find like when you take uh, lemon balm extract and you take when you take valerian root maybe within an hour of sleeping it will slowly just make it such that your mind is like wandering off you don't want to be laser focused and work and focus on work you're comfortable just getting in bed maybe like reading a book and then it seems like you slowly become a bit groggy and you comfortably go to sleep and then a nice measure of whether or not a sleep supplement is working is how you feel the morning afterwards so are you waking up feeling good, feeling energetic, like you've gotten a great sleep, or are you waking up and wanting more sleep? And what I found is when I use these two particular uh, supplements, valerian root and lemon balm extract, that I feel well rested, I feel energized, I feel ambitious to want to go after my goals and make it such that you have like your seven or eight hours of sleep and you feel well rested there afterwards. Moving on to our next nootropic stack. Um, this is our first stack where we actually have three nootropics. We have taurine, vitamin B, and caffeine. So what you can expect from taking these three nootropics together is a productivity boost with a low anxiety. And you'll very often find these ingredients in um, energy drinks like Monster, like Rockstar. Taurine is a really popular ingredient specifically for smoothing out the effects of caffeine and to some extent reducing anxiety levels. So taurine is most commonly known to be in Red Bull, the energy drink that people take prior to um, sports, athletic performance, or even students. I know that when I was um, in college, for example, people were consuming a lot of Red Bull because if you were to just take caffeine by itself or take caffeine pills, for example, you'll uh, very often come across that caffeine crash, which feels awful in the sense like you don't want to be productive whatsoever. However, if you go ahead and you consume an energy drink like taurine along with caffeine and then throw in the B vitamins, you seem to get like this nice productive feeling for um, three, sometimes up, up to even four or five hours. So the B vitamins, they're very subtle. Most people probably don't need the vitamin B um, in this nootropic stack. However, it, you're better off just adding it there, especially for somebody that's vegan or you don't eat a lot of whole grains because meat and whole grains are known to be fairly rich in the different uh, B vitamin. And our next nootropic stack is going to be L-tyrosine and caffeine, which is specifically around workouts. Uh, the one great benefit of taking L-tyrosine is that it has this nice synergistic effect with caffeine. So with caffeine, along with not only improving your energy, it's also known to suppress your appetite and help you with fat loss. And L-tyrosine does those three same things. So when you combine these two nootropics together, you'll find that your caffeine, it just works much more stronger. So instead of taking like 300 milligrams of caffeine, for example, you could on some instances lower the dose to like 200 milligrams of caffeine, add 500 milligrams of L-tyrosine and the Caffeine, surprisingly, actually feels like 300 milligrams of caffeine. So what L-tyrosine is, is it's an amino acid that's found in chicken breast. It's also found in egg whites. However, when you take it in supplemental form, so not with food, you will get this benefit of feeling more energetic. You'll feel like you'll have better focus. And it has benefits very similar to caffeine in that it will actually help with fat loss and will help to um, improve physical activity. You'll have this like desire to actually want to exercise. With L-tyrosine, what it does is it actually works on the particular neurotransmitter called dopamine. So when you have more dopamine going in your system, you want to act in a way in which will allow you to achieve specific results and it's great for setting goals. This is our next nootropic stack. It's Nupept plus caffeine plus L-theanine. Uh, what Nupept is responsible um, for specifically is for improving your concentration, improving your focus. You only want to work when you take Nupept. It's very hard to be distracted. You're only like focused on those high priority tasks. 
which makes it such that you can become horribly imbalanced when you're consuming new peps. During those times when I was consuming a lot of new pep, I had absolutely like no desire to have a social life. I lost my interest in sports and, and to some extent activities and I really just wanted to uh, make more money. And so that's the beauty of this nootropic snack is because when you mix caffeine and L-theanine, you get the energy, you get the anti-anxiety. Uh, you can be a little bit more productive, but sometimes the caffeine makes it such that you're overstimulated and your judgment is a bit off as far as like, what are the right activities that I need to be doing right now? And with new pep, you seem to know what activities are going to make the cash register ring. And as far as especially being a student, it will make it such that you're like laser focused on whatever you need to do. You can effectively plan. With caffeine, I find like it's really good short term, but not that good when it comes to planning because you assume you're in this caffeinated state all the time, but you're not because the caffeine is probably going to get out of your system within three or four hours. So Nupept is something you, you should do some research on. I've talked about it in this video over here because what's so is you build the tolerance to it pretty quickly. However, for some individuals like myself, I'm very sensitive to Nupept, so I can just take this stack like once a week if I need to get a good three to four hours of work done where I'm productive, uh, where I'm in state. And I would save this nootropic stack for let's say a day when I'm a bit sleep deprived because Nupept isn't something which I would want to use all the time because in the past I have. And then when I was taking time off of Nupept, I felt this like horrible brain fog, which I wouldn't want you to experience. So great uh, stack specifically for productivity. It only lasts for a few hours. It's not really a nootropic for most people that has this cumulative benefit and stays in your system long term. So these are 10 nootropic stacks. I'll keep you updated as I adjust these and find other ones which work for me. Hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much for your interest in nootropics. We've reached uh, quite a lot of subscribers now and I'm glad to be the person that can really provide value and provide education with respect to nootropics. Um, consider subscribing if you got value from this video and I will look forward to seeing you all next time. Take care guys.